Hi everybody, it's June, June Angel Pews. I said I'd come back, I'm a bit later than I expected, but um, I'm here. Um, just to show you a few, because I'll never get through all that I've got to show you, of my um, Irish crochet. Um, I think I mentioned yesterday, I've got a couple of hardback books, which I can't find. I wanted to, because one in particular sort of shows you how to, what you do with um, Irish crochet, you work on the little motifs first, and then join the motifs together with this knot all the way around. So, that's just to show you, you know, a couple of the things that um, you can do. That's um, just a general uh, motifs um, book. It's not really a pattern book, it is. Not really Irish crochet. Um, but on the other hand, you know, they're motifs that would fit nicely with Irish crochet. The same with those crosses. They're not strictly speaking Irish crochet, but um, I think they would be beautiful. Um, now that's done. I'm, I haven't I haven't tried this. I'm dying to. It's called crow tat. So it's halfway between crocheting and tatting. Um, to be honest, I forgot I've got, I've got this, so I didn't even, I haven't even read to see what, what it is. I suspect it's um, like needle tatting. So instead of a shuttle, you're using a, a needle with a hook, crochet type, if you know what I mean. Um, same with the coasters, again, not strictly speaking um, Irish crochet. But just give you an idea, you know, if you could do them on a smaller version, how they could be linked in. This is Crochet World, which is a magazine that I get from the States. Not very often do I get it. But again, it's got some lovely motifs in there. Yeah. Crochet ornaments. Oh, I was going to do so much this year. Never mind. Um, edgings. Again, you know, strictly not Irish crochet, but all can be linked in. This is a nice uh, magazine. Um, I've had it a little while. Um, shows you how to do Irish relay and lace and more. Is this the one? No. It's alright, I was looking. Look at that. That's called freeform crochet. Very much like the Irish crochet. Mixture of patterns all linked together. I can't see my camera so I'm hoping I'm in shots with all these. Um, this has got some Irish crochet in there, but the reason I'd got this one out a little while ago, um, I want to do one of these sample books, because um, I've got lots of different samples of crochet, and I want to do some of my own as well. And uh, can you see that? This is a very, very old one that was found. That's a sample pillow, look, a modern one. What's that? And then this one is a bit like, um, you know, the snippet rolls we do, but um, with crochet. thought that was a great idea. Um, just have a look to see if I can find. Yeah, this is the the Irish crochet page. 
show you how to do do it. There's a pin cushion. So I just hope you're getting all this because I can't see my blooming camera. So plenty for me to do. <laughs> I bought a, a few um, patterns from a lady um, on Etsy. Um, basically, she's uh, she shows you how to do each motive and then how to join them together. And uh, that amused me because they're absolutely right. All motives in Irish crochet, you have to crochet really tight. And you do as well. But yes, I've got a couple of those from her. And then I've got lots of patterns that I've collected over the years. Hopefully when I get settled, when all this is done, I will be able to settle down and do things like this. another set of that from Etsy different motifs and flowers beautiful I'm dying to get at those I'm dying to um, uh, Jeanette hi Jeanette um, what did she scrapping happy XO she is um, she did a video the other day and um, she asked the question what craft you want to do in 2017 and I put, I wanted to go back to the, um, the gentle arts I call them, um, you know to be, go back to the way I was years ago, oops. Um, and I'm hoping my, sorry, I'm hoping my um, hands will let me do this when I'm more relaxed, hopefully, hopefully. Um, I can go back to sitting and doing crocheting just at my leisure and uh, watch TV, watch films, documentaries, animal life, anything. <laughs> while I'm crocheting and, and embroidering. I mean, a lot bigger scale than I'm, what I'm used to, but we'll see. But that's what I'm hoping. Before you see... Oh, yes, you can see that. That's all right. Let me just show you these. This is from a lady. Can you see that all right? This one's an apple. The core at the bottom, not the core, the you know what I mean. The odd button. It's the leaf, the top. And this lady, um, I got these from Etsy. I just fell in love when I saw them. And um I believe I can't really remember. Um but I think they're from um Poland. And um, it's not, strictly speaking, Irish crochet, but it's more like stump work, which is um, a, an embroidery that's sort of padded. And this is very dimensional, as you can see. I just love it. Just a little bit of interest. I wanted you to see that. And I have a pear now, which I got recently. Very similar, no buttons this time. There you go. Lovely. So that's those. So there's um, an example of pure Irish crochet. So can you see the motifs joined together? with these series of um like a it's like a pico but it isn't it, you you've got to see the the video really and i'm sure i'm positive 
you'll go on uh, Google and put in Irish crocheting um, link knots I think they're called and you'll see what I mean and it they look as though they're twisting the um, crochet hook about 30 times it's quite fascinating to watch I'll try and find some videos for you and put the links down so that's that that's just a sample and there's another piece there it is beautiful I do love it that's the edging look you see that just amazing I'm always getting my I should have bought it actually to show you um, I'm always getting my um, magnifying glass out to have a look to see how uh, these stitches are worked it's just just amazing absolutely amazing okay so let's show you this is a collar or a Jobet, 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 J-O-B-E-T. I went on Google to see how it's pronounced, and there's all different, um, different ways depending on, you know, where you link to the states or to Britain or various other places. So this is just stunning. This was expensive when I got it, and I guess it'll, it would be a small fortune to buy now. But as I said to you on my last video, this is um, getting so hard to get now and to find indeed. Look at the, um, the layered flowers, which we've all got accustomed to doing, haven't we? But this is the finest, finest work you've ever seen. And they're all linked together. Gosh, that must have took some... some work. Goodness me. That's that one. Then there's several yards of this one. More than several yards. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Can you see? I mean, you'll often find there's little flaws and little holes and what have you, but if you get something as intact as this one, you are really, you've got something very special. I just love it. And if I could find that blooming book to show you, these ladies that do... Um, what's it called? Clones, I think it is. I might pronounce it wrongly. Um, again, I'll try and remember to put a link. C L O N E S, clones lace. And they make wedding dresses and blouses and coats and hats and bonnets and shoes you have never seen anything like it it's just stunning much smaller version there look little roses very old right this is a white collar I've got the right side I hope I have As I say, I've, I've mentioned one or two times, I just sit and go through these, feel them, look at them, use my magnifying glass. And just, I, it takes me back um, to thinking, how on earth did you work that? You know, did you use candles? Did you not have M M or did you do it in the daytime, you know, when there was natural light? I don't know. I just don't know. <laughs> but 
I am in awe of those ladies. Just in awe. And I'm saying ladies, but I believe some men um, got involved with this. I remember my brother-in-law used to knit for his babies. He was quite a good knitter. His mother taught him. Look at the... Can you see that? Am I in shot? I can't see whether I am or not. It's just amazing. Um, this is a Gervais, Gervais. It's a big long one. Um, it's mainly, it's very, very fine, fine lace. But then it's got the crochet, the Irish crochet, I've got it right way around this way, insert. And I think it's the Jobet, or Jobet. Um, this is it proper, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Not really good grammar, is it? But it's a very, 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 very long piece. It's almost down to the ground. This part is around goes around the neck and then that goes on and on and on as I say it almost touches the ground I must get my camera sorted out because I can't show you the things that I would like to with as much detail now this one is it Irish crochet or is it something else I ask myself I'm not sure. There, yeah, look. It's a big, long collar. Square neck. But I'm not sure. I have a couple of books on different laces. Um, and I used to know a lot of the names. I used to know a lot of the facts. But I'm afraid, as I say, without keep waffling on about my brain, <laughs> but it's all gone. That's very fine. Beautiful. Um, we've got lots of doilies. Um, oh, here's a very tightly crocheted little mat and you see very crocheted uh, tightly it's almost stiff just from the where it's been crocheted as I say I've got lots of doilies um, excuse me with uh, that sort of pattern which you're probably all well familiar with. Lots and lots of little collars. Yeah. Um, I will be doing something with them at some point. Um, not sure what. We'll be keeping them forever. Because nobody else will be particularly interested in them. There's some of my samples, look. Sorry if it's glaring, I can't see again. Um, even the little the writing, look. The old fashioned writing. This is what I want to put in the sample book. Yeah. Um, this one was sent for my lovely sissy. In the States, that's Diana. Hi, Diana, again. Happy Christmas, my darling. Um, oh, she sent me some beautiful lace. Uh, Diana is Spare Marbles 2012. And if you go on her site, she goes to all these estate sales um flea market. She's got a wonderful eye for all sorts of vintage and antique items. 
she just picks up some marvellous things. And I just fell in love with these, like a bunch of grapes, look. Fabulous with the leaves. This is a, a colour. I just love it. So thank you, Diana. I can't bring myself to... Well, I'm certainly not going to cut it. Um, but I can't bring myself to use it either. Naughty, aren't I? But I just love, love, love it. Um, there's some more samples. The Ukraine. That's where those come from, not Poland. It's just dawned on me. I've just seen a, um, a card. So the Ukraine. They are so clever those girls um, and this is an Etsy shop and whether you can see that card I've got some of the samples from her for this sample book I'm hoping you can see that without too much glare so I've got lots of plans but I don't know look at that old brown paper bag isn't it Fabulous. I mean, I've worked for hours trying to get paper to look like that. Um, again, look, more samples. See? So, those will go in my book along with the paper bag and the little illustrations that comes with it. Oh, um, oh, excuse me. There's, I've got a couple of bonnets. Um, that one is not particularly... Yes, it is Irish crochet. I'm going to take this one out of the bag because it is Irish crochet. It's quite large, so I don't know whether it's... I thought it was a baby's bonnet, but when I got it out and put it on one of my mannequins, um, I guess it's quite large. It's a bit um, mucky, although it's... Uh, if I don't wash any of these, I have... Look, see the holes, look. I have special solution that I buy um, from antique um, experts that I wash things in. If I can't wash them for whatever reason um, I use a uh, <sighs> disinfectant spray again and um, I've got all my hints and tips for the right things to use from the museum years ago so I'm just very careful. Smells quite nice, that one. Um, and I have been known to give them a very short, sharp blast in the microwave. Just if I thought they were, they came from a bit of a <laughs> debatable source. You know, farms and things like that. Just to make sure that they're absolutely... Um, sterile. That's the finest, finest cotton that you've ever seen. Again, not strictly speak. Well, it's not in any way. Um, I just wanted to show you. It's not uh, Irish crochet, but I love it. And with those, I found this, and it should really be in the box where all my handkerchiefs are. Hankies, the vintage and antique hankies. Because it's called the Magic Hanky. It's pure Irish linen. And it's a hanky, I don't know, I hope you can see. Yes, I don't really want to take it out. And it's made into a bonnet. And let me read you the story. The Magic Hanky. I am a linen hanky as beautiful as can be and with a look, sorry, with a tuck, a stitch or two, a bonnet was made from me. 
to wear home from the hospital or on the christening day and then I will be tucked away to await the wedding day. Then on her wedding day a hanky I will be for every bride needs something old that something will be me. And if the baby is a boy and some day he should marry he can give his lovely bride a hanky she can carry. Isn't that beautiful? And again, if you go Google um, that, you'll see all different styles. You'll see how to make them. That's the story. Sorry, I'm, I'm sure you're getting a glare here. But uh, I love it. I love anything different, you know. Like that. Different, different. Um, have I got anything else here? I've got loads, but um, here's a nice edging. Probably from a cuff. You see that? Okay, that's nice. Yeah. Um, what? Oh, wait, it's all right. I'm looking at the time. It's 26 minutes, so I'm going to wind up. I'll just end by showing you this one piece that I acquired fairly recently. I found it in a charity shop. I could not believe my look because I've never seen such a good example of Irish crochet in the true sense of the word and it wasn't cheap but it wasn't expensive there's the grapes different style from the one I showed you recently oh sorry just a little while ago there's the leaf see about the very tight um, crocheting another leaf Um, I think it was £15. I mean, some of you might say, oh gosh, it's a lot of money. But honestly, it isn't. So that's that. So there you go. Um, as I say, I'm going to try and find you some links so you can have a, a closer look at the hows, whys and wherefores. And I hope you enjoyed that little um aside with the Irish crochet a very very special art um as I say just to go back and and just think about these amazing people who made these fine fine pieces of textile absolutely stunning so thank you everybody it's um 20 to 12 on christmas eve here in the in england in the uk i was going to go to midnight mass but unfortunately i blooming well fainted didn't i again <laughs> so i didn't risk going um just in case I did anything silly like that uh, while I was out. That said, I shall leave you now for a couple of days. I wish you all, and I mean you all, every single one of you, the most happy Christmas that I could ever wish. I hope and pray that we all find peace at this special time and that the days that go now until the new year 2017 bring us that peace and steer us away from the hate and the
problems that we've certainly gone through, haven't we, in 2016. Gosh, I don't think, I, I can't remember a year so traumatic and so many changes. In fact, I can. I was thinking back to um, a diary that I found. I think it was 1956 um, that I had written in it, I hate Anthony Eden. He was our Prime Minister at the time and we were in the middle of what we called the Suez Crisis and we were on the brink of war, basically. And as a, a just a ten-year-old child who knew nothing about politics or anything else, I took my <laughs> frightened state out on Sir Anthony Eden. Um, but I think that's the last time I can remember being as... Um, oh, I'm not going to say frightened again, but certainly very upset with the way things are going. However, that's I'm getting a bit melancholy there and a bit negative. So my parting words are to you all is thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart for allowing me into your homes, for watching my videos, for commenting, for supporting me. I said last year and the year before that, and I'll say it again this year, that without you all, without YouTube, without Facebook, to a lesser extent, I'm not mad on Facebook, um, I don't know where I'd have been. You know, you've uh, you've helped me tremendously. So there you go. I love you and leave you. Take care, everybody. Good night and God bless. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.